So what's the Grape Explorer talking about today? Well, one of my favorite areas in all of Bordeaux is the Grave region. And for many, many reasons, it's a historical area, which is quite fascinating. But we're going to highlight a property today, which is called Chateau de Fougere. And Chateau de Fougere is a very, very interesting property. It is actually the home uh, of the Montesquieu family. And if anybody doesn't know, but Montesquieu was a very famous historian and poet, um, and Thomas Jefferson, who was visiting Bordeaux at that time when he was the ambassador um, to, uh, from America to uh, France, he visited this property. And the reason why was because uh, he took a lot of the foundations of the Montesquieu writings, uh, and that's what we have in our constitution today. So this was something that was very interesting to me was to visit this property, which I went in April to see this chateau. But we highlighted this, this area uh, of Grave today. And actually, as you can see, downtown Bordeaux is right over here. And if you go down here, you'll see Pesac Lignon, which is quite famous for Aubryon and Smith Olafitte. And you go a little farther south here, you'll come to this area, which is called Grave. And Grave is a very, very special area because you have a lot of chateau producers that are under the Grave appellation. But this producer right here specializes in red wine and specializes in Cabernet Sauvignon. So 2016, this was a beautiful wine. And one thing, when, when you're driving up to this property, all you see is forests. And it's forest as far as you can see. It's close to 200 acres uh, of just forests and chateau and vineyards. But that forest is interesting because you can actually, when you smell this wine, you get that deep forest scent. You get a lot of tobacco, you get a lot of spice tones. You get a lot of that um, really rambling kind of fruit, cassis and framboise and, and uh, cherries and all sorts of beautiful red fruits. So that's something that we wanted to highlight. But there was another uh, thing that might be a little confusing to people is people want to know what is a second wine of a property. And uh, Bordeaux is very famous for this. Uh, you know, in the, in the Grand Cru Class A, they have a lot of second wines, but this producer also produces a second wine. And what was explained to me was the second wine is actually a certain parcel of the property that they don't feel quite gets up to the standards of what they would feel would be in the top wine. And it's also younger vines. So, and it's got a little more Merlot to the, to the composite here than it would be Cabernet Sauvignon. So they are interesting wines. What you get here though is value. So this is something that I think is, uh, is very, very important to look for because if you see uh, a property and you'll see the Chateau name on it, uh, sometimes you will see the second wine from that property. And that second wine means it's not inferior by any stretch of the imagination. It means that it's, it's a cuvee they feel is either ready to drink young or it's also you know from something that they feel is, is a parcel that they just wanted to highlight in that second wine. And, um, you know, this is Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Again, this is the Grape Explorer, talking about grapes, talking about regions, talking about top wine.